In particular, the mission documented cases of extrajudicial killing, ethnically motivated violence, forced disappearances, torture, other forms of ill treatment, illegal arrest, and detention committed by Malian security forces, as well as further displacement of civilians due to ongoing military operations conducted by the French and Malian forces in cooperation with troops from the African-led International Support Mission, the MINUS Fisma mission. They also confirmed cases of summary execution, extrajudicial killings, illegal arrest and torture, forced disappearances, and sexual violence committed by elements of armed groups, including quite a number of them, during these groups' occupation of northern Mali. <laughs> Girls were forcibly married to members of armed groups in the Gao and Timbuktu areas. On many occasions, these forced marriages reportedly resulted in multiple rapes by members of the armed group, and the marriages didn't last more than two or three weeks after which the girls were sent back to their families. Instances of retaliatory violence committed by the Malian forces and the local population against Tuareg and Arab communities have decreased since mid-March. Nonetheless, the risk of reprisals against this community remains significant. We welcome, therefore, the initiative of the Malian authorities to address the integration of children associated with armed groups. We wish also to acknowledge the commitment made by the government of Mali on 7 February to respect human rights and international humanitarian law in the aftermath of the counteroffensive launched in January 2013. To fight impunity, prosecute all perpetrators of serious human rights violation in accordance with international law. Some of these commitments, however, have still not yet been sufficiently translated into concrete actions.